What is up investors? It is Miles with Miles G Investments. And today I have an awesome video for you guys. We're gonna be talking about the three best stocks. These are the three best stocks in the short term and in the long term. So if you wanna find out about the three best stocks, make sure to stay and watch the entire video because I have some very important information that I must share with you. Stay tuned. Also, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss out any information that I bring out with my videos. I like to cover stocks and cryptocurrencies and each of these videos are so vital for your investment strategies and portfolios because I cover stocks and cryptocurrencies and bring out charts and show you what happens before it happens. I bring out the big plays before they happen and I call them out in advance. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss out on any great content. Also make sure to smash the like button as it helps to support this channel and it supports me as I put out this free information for you all. And the links for my Patreon and free Discord are below, so make sure you join the Discord as well. All right, guys, the first stock we're gonna be talking about is Tilray, ticker symbol T-L-R-Y. This thing is on fire, and as we look today, it is up over 61%. It was 50% just today, and in after hours, we're sitting at around 11%. Now, in just a week's time, this thing has been up over 200%, nearly 200% at 178%, and this thing has still much more room to grow. Now, this stock, and with the other stocks that I'm going to be talking about, uh, specifically Sundial, which you will see, they're being pumped up by Wall Street Bets. This is not a short squeeze. No, a lot of people are jumping into these pot stocks, which Tilray is because of our new government. And our new government is supporting the legalization of marijuana federally. They are trying to get that passed. And this is gonna bring Tilray up to even greater heights. Tilray is also gonna be doing a merger uh, with another company, APHA, very soon. And this is gonna skyrocket Tilray and that company up to greater heights and even higher heights than what we currently see. So I'm gonna be, I'm adding more to my position in Tilray uh, within these next couple of days. And I'm gonna try to catch a much of a ride as I can to all time highs because this thing is bringing us to the moon. So I am buying in at these levels, but I would be paying attention for dips. If you can catch any dips, I would be watching those very carefully and making some entries and setting a, a tight stop loss. But this is just not a great short-term play. This is going to be a long-term play. As we see, marijuana going to become more legalized throughout the United States and the world. And we're going to see Tilray at hundreds of dollars per share. But I am not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. All right, guys. The next stock we're going to be talking about is BioNanoGenomics, ticker symbol BNGO. Now, this thing has been on a tear lately and has been holding up very well as we see over 100% gains in one month's time. What we need to take notice is that we've been in a consolidation period where the stock is trading sideways. It's not really going up, it's not going down. And what that signals for us is a buying opportunity because it is most likely gonna be breaking out, especially with so much great news coming out. One of the pieces of news we recently saw within the last couple days is the largest hospital diagnostic lab in Canada pilots BioNano Sapphire system. So basically companies, hospitals, doctors, laboratories around the world are starting to adopt the Sapphire system, which is a system that BioNano produces and sells. And BioNano is ahead of their time in genome sequencing and mapping. So this stock is gonna be going up to massive levels and we can see this thing possibly to 30 to $50 by the end of the year. And it is even very possible that maybe by the end of the month, we could see 15 to $20. So I love this dip right here. We saw a little bit of red. That's when you wanna buy. You wanna buy things when they're in the red because it is giving you a free discount. So I'm gonna be adding more to my position in BioNanogenomics. All right, guys, the last stock I'm gonna be talking about for the best stock for the year, for the short term, is Sundial Growers. Now, this thing was involved in the GameStop short squeeze, but this thing is continuing to go up because they have made so much cash. This company was able to sell shares when this thing was pumped all the way up and now they have a lot of cash reserves, which is great for this company because this company is growing. Now, if we look in just a week's time, this thing is up just like Tilray, 172%, almost 200%. 
and in days time, one day's time, nearly up 100%. In after hours, it's killing it, 16%. Uh, we might see 20 to 30%. And then in the morning, we have pre-market. So I think that this thing is going to be taking off in the short term. And in the long term, I believe that this is a great hold. We could see five, 10, $20 within 30 days, within 60 days, we could see these types of numbers. And maybe by the end of the year, we can see this thing $40 because this is where basically Tilray was last year when it dipped uh, around seven, eight dollars. So these pot stocks, they have been hammered, but they are going to be going up. This is the new era of the pot stocks. And these are some of the most important stocks to be getting into with this type of government, with this type of market condition. These are the stocks that I'm getting into pot stocks. I'm getting into cryptos. I'm getting into a lot of other innovative stocks. But specifically, pot stocks are going to be top priority for me to be purchasing and making profits daily. So I'm going to be continue adding to my position as Sundial because this thing continues to go up and up and up. And I'm just going to be adding more and more and more and setting those tight stop losses with those positions that I'm making at these levels. But I believe that in the short term and in the long term that this is a great investment. Another thing with pot stocks, we are seeing other countries, other governments are adopting marijuana, allowing marijuana trade within those countries because marijuana provides a lot of jobs. It provides a lot of taxes. It provides a lot of income. It provides a lot of money to so many things. Marijuana was looked down upon as a terrible thing, something worse than alcohol, something worse than some schedule one drugs. But no, marijuana is becoming to be found medically effective, uh, psychologically effective. Um, it's able to do a lot of good things other than just get people high. So marijuana is just in its infancy. These marijuana stocks are just in their infancy. It's going to be basically like Budweiser as we see Budweiser everywhere at the bars. We're going to be seeing marijuana. These marijuana companies, they're marijuana all over the place. If we are looking down the road five to 10 years from now, we're going to be seeing these stocks, these marijuana stocks, we're looking at bio nanogenomics. We're going to be seeing these uh, innovative companies. So when playing these the way I would play them, especially when they are at such overextended levels, uh, we could see them certainly go a lot higher. It's just make small positions and small positions. Don't make huge positions and then you will see them go down. Uh, typically, I like to purchase things on dips and not rips. Uh, that is my motto, buy the dips, not the rips. But when you see something get pumped to 200 to 300 to 400% uh, in a week and they're going up 100% a single day, um, make small positions and keep adding to those positions and take your profits when you can. Secure those profits because it is never wrong to take profits because those profits can easily be taken from you. Now, which of these stocks do you think has the highest growth potential? Out of Tilray, out of Sundial, out of BioNanogenomics, who do you think will be the winner at the end of the year? Um, if you were to make the most profit, who do you think, what stock do you think will be making the most profit at the end of the year? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in my Patreon, the links for that are below where you can help support the channel, join the Discord, where I put out trade alerts, trade signals on the daily, and I communicate with all of my members. Make sure to sign up.